Hi, this is George with NS345. This is video number six. Today I'm going to try to finalize this mix, so let's get to it. I'm mixing the song Jules King, Never Stop. So far, I've got plugins on the individual buses. So I've got plugins on my drum bus. Uh, <clears throat> I've got plugins on some of the tracks. Uh, I've got some sends for effects, reverbs, and stuff like that. I have nothing on the loop uh, bus. I do have some EQ compression on the guitar buses that I created. I had like eight different guitar tracks, uh, which were doubled. And I routed those to a bus where I can process them separately just because of the different tones. And I've got uh, some delay uh, on the entire guitar bus nothing major on the guitar bus and on the vocal that's probably where I have my most plugins um, DSing, some effects, long reverbs, delay I don't have anything on my mix bus all I have is the virtual tape machine by Slate and on my stems I have only the virtual mix rack and this is the virtual channel so I'm gonna do some mix bus processing today uh, I don't really need much. I'm not big on mix bus processing. I like to, it does help. It just depends on the situation uh, that you're working on. But let me, let me bring in the VMR bus. See if that does anything for me. So the Brit N emulation is bringing up a little bit of the gain. It's giving me a couple of dBs, but I'm actually okay with that because I'm not at my optimal mix level, which is minus 18 dBFS, as you can see here. Let me play it for you. Okay, so that's just a little bit of mix bus processing for that. Now I'm going to add a compressor. I'm wondering, no, that's good. Let me leave that at the end. Or actually, let me switch that, see if it makes a difference. And I Now 
Now I'm getting right around minus 18 dBFS, which is good. My correlation looks good up here on this, uh, on my meter. Good stereo, good balance. Let me hear it in mono. Okay, I do lose a little bit of the guitars in mono on the sides, but that's okay because the balance sounds really good to me or to my ears. I'm gonna just add a compressor here and I always go to the SSL compressor. Okay, so basically I'm getting two dBs of compression and I'm making that up on the makeup knob. So I'm just double clicking and typing two and you can tell it's not adding a lot of gain. But it is adding a little bit of color. Uh, it's rounding it out a little bit, making it smoother. And I do hear some of the harmonics that it adds. I, I really love this SSL uh, bus compressor. Okay, so moving on, I have a good level. Let me just uh, hear the song from start to end. And what I'm looking for is uh, see if there's any any place where I can take uh, advantage of auto or of automation. You were so close. I could breathe you in. Yeah, you call in my name. Okay, so immediately I could hear the the keyboards um, or the Rhodes keyboard can use a little help. Especially coming in there. Let me go look for my instruments, which are way down here. Okay, so. Take us back to the start. Okay, so that kind of disappears in the mix. I didn't want to do any processing on these uh, just because I like the original tone, but it looks like I may need to add a little top end. So I'm just going to go to 
Yeah. Just an EQ. Actually, no. I'm going to cheat. I'm lazy. So I'm going to use my favorite little... Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where? Compressor. <laughs> I think a high pass is enough for this. I don't want to just increase the volume, but let's try that. See what this sent this one. about that what's this bad boy doing Okay, so this section sounds loud enough, but when it gets to here, it's too loud. Every song and I don't want to change the volume, so I'm just going to bring this down just a little bit. There's some automation. I'm just writing it in. And I take it by sections. I'm not going to go through the roads by itself. I take it by sections. So let's uh, see this next section here. So that's just an organ kind of sitting in the background. Let's see if we can do anything with this. <laughs> <laughs> 